Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to talk to you about how to choose a web host. And there are so many different things out there when it comes to web hosts, so many recommendations by people out there who really, I don't know if they always have the best intentions for someone when they're just starting out to actually choose something they need because a lot of them are based on affiliate programs. And I just wanted to go over at least 10 different things that you should look for when you're starting a website especially with WordPress and basically the way that I would go about selecting a good web host and the web host here that I'm going to be featuring or talking about mainly is A2 hosting however these things apply to any web host you should definitely make sure they have them before you decide to sign up with them and I would definitely recommend trying out different web hosts if you have that option or at least talking to different live chat supports or phone support and kind of getting a feel for what kind of service you're going to get from them and what they have to offer because going off recommendations alone like this one isn't always the best thing to do I definitely say do some of the research yourself and find out what really appeals to you that some hosts have that others don't so I'm just going to start off by saying if you're new to having a website and you have no background in it I would definitely recommend going with shared hosting because for one it's probably going to be the most inexpensive and also it's going to probably be the easiest to get started with for a beginner I say this because there's probably one click install setup for things like um, WordPress and Joomla and other things like that and that's something I wanted to touch on as well but you need to have this one click installs if you're going to be using WordPress you want to have that included and a reputable host should have that but not all of them do now something you can see here is it's about 490 a month and this is the plan that I would recommend one where you can have unlimited websites and not be bogged down if you want it to go really fast you can have something like this turbo plan here and the reason I even talk about speed is because it's very important now in the eyes of Google and it's definitely going in that direction and for retention at keeping viewers on your website to have a fast website very important that you want to have a fast website with fast loading times and that ties into something called SSD which is solid state drive and that makes the websites faster as well which Google also loves so if you can have fast a fast website with a solid state drive that's a win-win scenario right there to keep customers on your website and to help Google basically upvote your website or rank your website a little higher because of the speed now another thing I would recommend is that it has a control panel as well and the control panel is a great thing to use in the back end for ease of use purposes it really makes it easy because it has icons like WordPress install and you just click on it and you can set up the WordPress install in a matter of a few clicks or you need to add on a new domain name or create a subdomain name you can do all these things within the control panel and it makes it so much easier with having one now this should be almost standard in any reputable web host again but it's something you should make sure they have another thing that's growing in importance within Google or towards Google is SSL certification you want to at least make sure there's an option for that and right here it says free SSL and SSD and that's a great option to have because you want to be able to have that on your website because Google wants your website to be more secure for viewers and users coming to that website so if you can get that for free I would definitely recommend a website that offers that for free now another thing is unla unlimited data or unlimited databases it says here unlimited storage things like this all these things you want to be unlimited you do not want to have a limit on your storage because essentially it can just get bogged down and I've had a scenario I'll just say with GoDaddy that I actually upgraded to a plan they had a big promotion they had going one time and I installed one website and it was a very basic blog where I hadn't even written a post yet and they said I ran out of storage and I needed to upgrade for almost ten dollars a month more if I wanted to be able to have enough storage to host the website and I just thought it was absolutely ridiculous that that even happened and I had no idea how I could have even come close to the storage or the database limit that they had in place so I would recommend doing one with an unlimited now there technically isn't anything called unlimited there's no such thing as unlimited there has to be a limit to it but the fact that it says unlimited means that they're not going to do something like the scenario I had with GoDaddy when I did that you also want one that has free website transfers and free website transfers are 
a big thing to have. If you have different websites hosted elsewhere, you want to be able to transfer it for free to it another host. You don't want them to have to charge you 15, 20, 30 bucks, which I have had happen before when transferring your website just to get it over to the new host. And additionally, you want to have something where the money back guarantee policy is more than at least a couple weeks. You want to be able to have at least a month, I would say, to feel out the website host and make sure that the hosting company is a good fit for you. Now this one is an anytime money back guarantee. That's outrageous in my opinion. You never see that in the hosting industry. I would say standard is probably 30 to 45 days and I would definitely make sure that whatever host you end up going with has that. Another thing you want to have is 24 seven support and you want to have live chat ability. You want to have calling ability. You want to have all these things as options. You want support tickets as well. That's definitely one and knowledge base would be a nice thing to have if they have like step-by-step -step breakdown of what you have to do to make changes on your own if you want to just do it on your own really quickly or learn how to do it all of these things are a big plus and i would say i would highly recommend that you try out support on different hosting websites before you ever even buy a plan because i've had scenarios where i used hostgator for years and i actually used to recommend them and i would wait for I've had times where I waited over an hour and a half on the phone for HostGator support to even answer to the point where my phone died. I had that happen three times in a week once when I was trying to get something resolved. And it was taking about five or six days for them to respond to a support ticket, if at all. So I had some very, very bad experiences with HostGator and I do not recommend them and I won't recommend them going forward because of some of these things. But I would definitely say my point here is that you should try out the support that they have and see if they get back to you like if you submit a ticket it should be no more than 24 hours in my opinion for them to get back to you if you use live chat you want them to be responding and actually have answers not just direct you to open a ticket every time things like this if you call them you definitely should be able to get help so I would say definitely try out support before you even think about purchasing the pre the plan Lastly, I'll def definitely just touch on this one. It, you want someone that's going to have free website backups. So if we click on like get full details here, we'll see there's a lot more options. And down here, it will tell you um, all the details that you might want to know. And if we see, if we look uh, for backup options, it's got to be in here sometime. Well, there is a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee, which is definitely worth looking at. But if we look for backup options and you can see here it has server rewind backups and drop my site off-site backups available as well and there's also a tutorial i have on my youtube channel about doing backups for free so there's a lot of different options here i would definitely check out a2hosting.com and i have a link in the description to get you actually a little bit more off it'll be 53 percent off rather than 51 that comes with the standard plans could save you a few bucks so if you want to take advantage of that click the link in the description and I would say again check them out for yourself before you just sign up for it check out some other hosts I would definitely at least look at them and see for yourself my big reason for going with them is the support was up to my standards good enough for me but also on top of that that the speed is the number one priority of this website host this web host so Speed, I think, is the direction that Google is really going to go in here, and I think it will have a lot of benefits long term to have the fastest website around. So that's my big reason behind it, and I did do a lot of testing, and this tests it better than several different hosts as far as speed goes. So if that's something you're interested, I would definitely check them out. And I hope this was helpful and gave you an overview of some of the things that you should look for with a web host and I hope it gets you started in the right direction. If you're just starting out, I would use shared hosting and not worry about spending so much up front. If you need to upgrade in the future, upgrade when you have the money that you've made from the business to upgrade. Don't worry too much about it right now. Just get started. That's the number one thing. And then you can upgrade as your company grows. So I hope this was helpful, everyone. Thanks for viewing and have a great day.